Hi friends, this is a Circus Animal and Peppermint Twist Wax Melt Box Tutorial. Everything in your box we're going to go over together. Everything in this box contains a lot of goodies like a wax melt, sample, pen, sticker, candy, and a freshie sample made by the students in the HEART program. This box includes one pound of Melt and Pour Peppermint Twist, one pound of Melt and Pour Cowboy Sugar Cookie, a peppermint candy mold made by Ramblin' Darlin, Circus Animal Silicone Mold made by ABCFreshyMolds.com, red and pink candle dye chips, rainbow nonpareil, glitter, pipettes, stir sticks, Dixie cups, packaging, and more. We'll go over everything again later, but let's get started. You can sprinkle as little or as much as you like of the rainbow nonpareil sprinkles inside the Circus Animal silicone mold. Next, I'm gonna take some glitter and sprinkle a little bit inside my peppermint candy mold. You can sprinkle as little or as much as you like. You may notice that you will have a pound of peppermint twist and cowboy sugar cookie broken down to into, into either six or four ounces. We did this on purpose so you only need to microwave a little bit at a time instead of microwaving and heating up the whole pound all at once. Now I'm taking my Dixie cups and I'm gonna break up a little bit of red candle dye chips and place it in the Dixie cup. I'm gonna do the same thing for the pink dye chips, break up a little bit of pieces and place it in the Dixie cup. I'm gonna use this later to dye my wax pink and red. Here's my wax, three minutes later, I'm gonna use my wooden stir stick to break up the wax, and then I'm gonna place it back in the microwave and reheat it again in one minute increments until it's melted completely. Okay, we're back and here's my wax completely melted down. Now I'm gonna be very careful, handle with care because this wax can be very hot. Safety's always first. And I'm going to pour a little bit of my wax in my Dixie cup. Take my stir stick and I'm gonna stir it up. I'm gonna keep stirring until the dye chips are completely dissolved. The plastic pipette will help me control the red dye wax as I place it inside the mold to make the swirl design. As soon as I'm done, I'll squeeze the pipette to remove all of the excess wax so I can reuse it. If you have any leftover wax, you can pour it into another silicone mold or a small clamshell. Here I'm using a small silicone mold that was already included in the box. It comes out as little hearts after the wax sets. The cowboy sugar cookie is now poured into the Dixie cup with the pink dyed chips. If you want to check the color pink, you can Drop a little bit on a piece of paper to see the shade of pink is at your preference. If you'd like it darker, you want to add the dye chips while the wax is still hot. Now I'm ready to pour, so you're going to pour your wax carefully into the mold. If you have any leftover wax, it's always great to pour it into a small clamshell or a little sample cup. This is um, always good so you can give it away to your customers as a sample. Now I'm taking the remaining wax and I'm pouring it directly into the animal mold. Then I'm going to take my peppermint twist remaining wax. It's still hot and I'm going to pour it directly into the peppermint candy mold. Here's a short time lapse showing my wax as it's cooling down. Now, four hours later, my wax is ready to demold and there it is, perfect peppermint twist candies. This mold was made by Ramblin' Darlin. She did an excellent job, it's super cute. You can change the colors to pink, red and pink, add some more glitter. Um, I love this mold and it's really easy. Now with the circus animal mold, you wanna be very careful because if, even though it's ready to demold, if you 
demold it too quick, you can accidentally break a leg, <laughs> which is what I did with one of these animals you'll see here in just a second. There, oh, there it goes. So don't be in a rush, take your time and be patient. Um, if this happens, I'll just melt it down and re-pour again later. Here's the leftover wax that I poured in the silicone mold. You can put it in a little baggie and also give this away as a sample. Now, as you can see, both molds are equivalent to a six cavity clamshell. I under poured just a tad little under the peppermint twist, but it's still perfect. Now, in this next section is all about packaging. So if you'd like to view this part, this is gonna be nothing but packaging. So what came in the box um, came with a couple of soap boxes. So these are just options that you can choose to use if you'd like, um, or just to give you inspiration, you might, there's plenty of different options of soap boxes out there that you can use. Um, this box that came with your box, um, it is a white box with a window. So as you can see, the peppermint twists fit in there. I used a little bit of red and white twine, um, and then a little craft tag and then add your warning label on the back you can add your own personal label you can put your own personal touches um, this is a red holographic bag with the window and as you can see here I'm also pulling out other types of packaging so the holographic bag it's kind of like playing with Plinko you want to be very careful as you're dropping the wax melt inside the bag and try not to handle it too much. Um, if the wax touches the window, you'll see the wax rub off on the window and then it's hard to get off. So be very careful. It is very pretty, but once you place it in there, again, you can add on your warning label, your special sticker. This is peppermint twist. You can add some red twine. Um, now this bag is a self-sealable um, clear plastic bag. Um, it's very pretty. The only thing, it works just like the other holographic bag. You don't want to handle too much. Um, by handling it too much or if it's too warm, the wax will rub off inside the bag. And there is, I don't know anything you can do about that as far as getting it off. So as you can see, I took the wax out and you can see how the bag looks um, on both bags. So um, this is a glassine bag and i really like these bags the most these are my favorite but again this is just another option um the glassine it's not clear but it's more a cleaner look i think because it doesn't rub off and you won't be able to see it when it does <laughs> you can also add some twine adding your special touch with a sticker your own label happy holidays so I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope this gives you some inspiration into packaging wise. And um, I'm gonna, that's a warning label. Please be sure to add warning labels all to your wax melts. And that is it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to be notified in future tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.